We should all be here now. Oh, God. <laughs> and that yeah. is paid for, so that's great. Wonderful. Um, yeah. It started. It started. <laughs> it has indeed car, started. Not <laughs> I'm not a car. So. <laughs> so, the God Emperor doesn't want to be on camera because he's suffering one of the top three hangovers of his entire life. Um, uh, no, I, actually, I said of anyone's entire life. Of anyone's <laughs> life, dear lord, that's a bad one. <laughs> well, that's, that's taken a toll. Like, uh, that's uh, fair that's, enough. That's a bit. Oh. As long as you don't die on stream, because that's a lot of paperwork for me to fill in, then that's fine. Yeah, don't Is it? Yeah, I, I don't, maybe. I feel like I'd be slightly liable, because he could have just been like in bed, and I've made him not be. So if he expires due to me, that's probably my fault. I think we'd be witnesses. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but you wouldn't say nothing, would you? You'd, you'd be like, don't worry, Sherry, we were all planning on doing it at some point. <laughs> I mean, hmm. yeah, just pin the blame on me. It's fine. I'll take it. So, yeah, Sherry arrested. No, please don't. Um, we're going to be diving into oh, that. <laughs> and also... <laughs> Also, it's your origins as musicians, as a band, and so I guess the most logical place to start with that would be talking about the first music you ever remember, like, buying kind of off your own back, not a kind of, like, my mum bought me this for Christmas. Like, what did you go out and choose to buy? Um, Fight between yourselves, who goes first? I mean, first album I think I went and bought out of my own money, because I think... 50 cents get richer by trying but the first album i got was i'm pretty sure britney spears first record so and i don't think i bought that of my own money i don't think i might have done i might have said mum can i have this and she said well you're going to pay for it and i was like with what i'm nine and, she like, Fine. <laughs> and and that was it but then aside from that like i'm pretty sure it was get richer by trying was the first one i actually wanted for myself i think uh, i think i I remember the first album I think I ever got given was American Idiot by Green Day. But then, I think, as I to think, and then I found LimeWire, and I don't think I ever bought an album, I just torrented everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible you like are, that. You are the reason we struggle. Yeah. yeah. Entirely, entirely yeah. your fault. So mm. I'm that demographic. Unreal. Um, what was mine? Uh, well, it, it was probably when I was. Oh no, I know what it was. It was Trigger the Bloodshed Degenerate. Um, of course, it was. It was when Amazing. Newbury still had a HMV, um, which was. I mean, I must have been like 13, 14. Um, maybe older. No, it would have been that, actually, yeah, because it was. Because of the album cover, because I was very much part of that, of the last part of that generation that bought shit based off the album cover. Um, and like my, the, the first 200 CDs I bought were about basically that, not, not hearing it. And then, because I didn't do the internet. Um, to be fair, that's how I pick music now to listen to. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of how I've gone back to it now. It's just now it's <laughs> modern life. But, um, but yeah, no, it was just a dude standing in front of a tank. I was like, sick, right? And it's still a great fucking album now as well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I bought... Because I got really into Trivium, and I don't know if I bought all the Trivium albums myself or if my dad bought them. I can't remember. But big Trivium fan. Harrison, what was yours? It was probably like some jazz thing. Miles um, Davis. Iron Maiden. That's what I bought with my own money. Um, could be Steps. Could I be think it was a CD of... So I went to see Status Quo when I was about 10 and there was like a support act guy and he was selling his CDs afterwards but I didn't even like him but I bought it um, for some if you reason. watch it we're sorry <laughs> and yeah that, that that was probably the first one um, which is probably the most boring story I've ever told <laughs> But, <laughs> 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 but 
<laughs> what about like the first gigs that you would have attended then? Uh, oh, that would have been status quo for me as well. Uh, Go on, Dan. My parents used to take me all the time, and they used to love it. It was great. Um, yeah, so I still love status quo now because I'm just a tasteless fucking twat. Blue jean music. Yeah. Free yeah. chords, no care. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How about you, Dan? Going back. My, my first one was Stone Sour at Hammersmith Apollo. Um, I think. I mean, it weren't long after that that it was Beneath the Massacre. <laughs> I think. Yes, because it was Bone Crusher at Sub 89 in Reading and there was about nine people there and it was... Beneath the Massacre, Betraying the Martyrs, Someone Else, and Carnifex. And, yeah, it was very good. Molotov Solution. That was, that was yeah. Molotov Solution. What kind of fucking upbringing did you have? That was <laughs> sick. That was so sick. All right. <laughs> I think, cause, yeah, because I didn't go for anything for years. So I went to, because it was Stone Sour and Event Seven Pole, and I went with a lot of mates from, from school, and I'd have been about 14. Maybe 13, 14. Was that, to... was that the tour that Portnoy did with Event yes, Temple? Yes, it was. That was that tour, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah so it was the first one after the Red died. Because um, mm. I think the tour before that, he was also just randomly co- co- coincidentally playing for Stone, Stone Sour. And I thought, I'm going to get to see him do a fucking dub, dub, double shift for every band on the bill. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, he was um, yeah, he was with Avenged. No, that was sick. That was on the Nightmare cycle. So it was very good. But yeah, yeah. been out like oh, a three years since we've done any show. And then saw Bonnie the Master. Nice. What did the voice from the void just say? I've no idea. I just <laughs> said like, something about you're a fucking moat mare or something. Which is you know, <laughs> typical. Uh, the thing is, you know, uh, do you know what? I, I genuinely forget how long ago that record came out, like Nightmare. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's still, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy yeah, because I mean, good, I think. it's the only Avenged Seven. It's, a good, it's, a, it's a good record. I mean, ev- everything up to Nightmare, I really like. It's after mm. that it kind of goes a bit downhill, but yeah, Red died, yeah. so you know, like like the self-titled was great. That was really really good. Was a fucking yeah. phenomenal like, record, absolute great album. Um, my absolutely, first my yeah. first gig actually was um got a little bit of a backstory to it so my two favorite bands at the time were iron maiden and trivium and my dad went oh let's just go for a nice drive down to london you know because i wasn't living in the time they're living in london at the time so it's like, let's go for a nice drive down to london and we drove down to london we drove to the um uh hammersmith it, was it the apollo or odeon yeah. or whatever yeah. it's called it's well, whatever one's closed down now. Oh, I think Apollo's still open. It's one of the ones that's stopped, that's closed down. Is it Hammers- it's somewhere in Hammersmith, I think. I can't remember which one it is. Ah. But anyway, so we, we get to this venue, and my um, and my my dad's like, "What's going on here?" And me and my brother are like, "Holy shit!" Like, Iron Maiden are playing, and we have Trivium supporting. Like, that's incredible. And I just thought, wow, I'm so close to, like, one of their gigs. That's amazing. And then my dad, I don't know why, I just thought it's really cool, like, that that's happening there. I didn't think anything of it. And then my dad just pulled out two tickets and went, there you are. So, um, and it was that night. So then we went and watched Maiden and Trivium, which was really cool. I think Within Temptation was supporting as well or something like that. I can't remember. Um, It was all right. But, yeah, that was a really fun, that was a fun First gig. No. Oh, God. Go on. Uh, my my first show, funnily enough, um, was also a 50 Cent show on the Get Rich and I Time tour. And I initially wasn't old enough to go to that, right? <clears throat> but what happened was I was walking through uh, Lakeside Shopping Centre, shout out, and <laughs> we walked past the Foot Locker and I saw they were running a competition because it was at the time when um, the G-Unit trainers were coming out. And there was a competition saying, um, uh, go to the website and like answer the question. And if you answer the question, then, you know, you could win tickets to see 50 Cent. And I was like, at the time, 
I was so like gassed about it. I was like, oh, I'm going to enter this and just see what happens. So I went home, entered the competition, um, and the question was something like, how many, how many units did um, Get Rich and I try and sell worldwide in its first week or something like that? And me, because I'd listened to yeah. a radio interview that, that week, I knew what the actual answer was. Um, so I put the answer in, and then it's like, you're too young for this. What are you doing? <laughs> so I spoke to my sister's boyfriend and was like, oh, yeah, beg you in it. Can you enter this for me? Like, we'll put down your name. I will tell you the answer, but like, we'll put down your names and stuff. And he was like, all right. Anyway, six months later, goes past. Gets a phone call while he's at work at Romford Market, six in the morning, setting up the school on a Tuesday. Gets that's the, phone the call. thing I've ever heard. I uh, know, but that's what, exactly what it was. And he gets the phone call and they're like, did you enter a competition uh, with Foot Locker? And he went, no. And then hung up. And then... <laughs> And then his brain twigged that actually, yeah, he had. So he rung him back and he was like, no, 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 I did. I did. I remember it was just that like a long time ago. And they was like, yeah, you actually won. Um, like we, we, we won uh, like one of the pair, 10 pairs of tickets. So we ended up going to that. Um, and it was a really weird show. It was Wembley Arena. And we were right at the side, like halfway back. So the view was crap. The sound was crap. But we were also close enough that the pyro would go off and I could just feel the rush of heat over my face. So I'm sitting there being like, if this is my first gig experience, I have no idea what's going on. But it was, it was great. It was great. Went back and saw him again a year later. It was brilliant. Oh, it was a great time. Oh, much in mind. great time. I bet it's sick. Oh, honestly, it was unreal. It was, it was such a good show. It was such yeah. a stupidly good show. But obviously, like, I had no idea what to expect. Like, none. Um... I'd never never been to a show before and especially seeing as everyone like at the time was telling me like you need to be very careful I'm like why like you know you're going to London just on your own with someone who works up Romford Market like please for the love of fuck be careful yeah. alright yeah fair enough so how yeah. did you how did you go from or rather what was the trigger point in going from consuming so many different kinds of music to creating <laughs> don't even know I think I think part of it is just because like you you just end up hearing so much music that you just kind of you just enjoy in it do you know what I mean so you just you just get a line for me I'm I, like I just I don't know I just kind of think like oh, oh, that'd be fun that'd be fun I've got no idea what I'm doing but that'd be fun <laughs> and then when it, when it comes to Nevada stuff at least Harrison just rings me or messages me and goes Mo I've done something and my immediate response is always oh no <laughs> <laughs> And then the Corazon clapping section happens. So, you know, that's yeah. that's kind of the other way it comes about. Yeah. Well, that's the, the like, I don't know. For, for me, it was just a case of I was playing guitar and I just enjoyed writing stuff on guitar. Like, I'd just be messing around without music on. Because there's only so many times, you know, you can play through an album, you know, like, like a Trivium album. And, you know, you spend so long learning it and then you don't want to play it like the, you don't want to play it again like the sixth or seventh time that day so you end up turning off all the music and just bashing about on the guitar seeing what happens and you end up kind of putting some notes together and you end up going oh this, this kind of sounds quite nice what if i was to write that down and you write that down on a computer program or something like that and the way that i got into then drumming was because uh i used to write songs on a guitar and i didn't know a drummer that like i just didn't know any drummers so I found two guitarists, then I went on to drums to play. And then that opened up a whole new area of like being able to create oh, drums. Um, what was that? I didn't hear that. You said it opened up a whole new world of, and I said suffering. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. <laughs> but, it's, but it's quite nice because I, 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 when Harrison sends me over some material or music, I listen a lot of the time i actually almost like ignore what the drums are doing and i just listen to like purely what like what the guitars and like that area is doing so i'm not really interested i've never been interested in what the drums are doing on a track i still am not i i like the song as a well, that's no i just i just honestly thought you was going to say i've never really just been interested in harrison's music and <laughs> that, that as and well I, <laughs> that's honestly where i thought it was going to go <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think the music is more important than like 
Even the drummer hates drums, yeah. I just think that I I, I like harmony and the musicality, so therefore when Harrison sends me over stuff, I just kind of right, what what would it work with that? But anyway, that that's that's a really long winded and shit answer. I apologise. Dan, you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what it well, is, Cam, isn't it? <laughs> um well I started playing good before I listened to it. Like as like seriously. So I started playing classical at like ten when I had I really I don't know why I had fucking zero in, in interest in music whatsoever. Um just sort of started playing classical before started playing like classical was kind of the only way in at the time. Um and so I did that until I was sixteen, seven seventeen, seventeen. Um I just got fucking sick of it after about, I mean, within the last sort of two, three years, I just didn't like it because I started getting into riffs. Um, I just played, played electric from when I was 13, maybe, I think, in school. Um, we had a guitar teacher that would come around um, once or twice a week. Um, and yeah, basically just did that and then carried on into college where I went on to do a college course of music and then went to BIM and yeah, just kind of did the standard thing where I just went my own sort of tangent with it. Um, and then as far as like link, linking it to, I, I think it was like playing guitar that got me into the heavy stuff rather than like finding it out, out, elsewhere just because you start out sort of with the, uh, the kind of sim- simple heavy shit or the not quite as heavy shit and then go down that rabbit hole and I think that's how I did it rather than finding it to listen to and then finding it to, to play it was the opposite way around but voice from the void your fingers. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then stumbled onto a suicide silence video bought a seven string and that was that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for me doing music was just the uh, easiest way I could think of to disappoint my parents so you know, I'm, I'm a very part of kind of um, so I, yeah I thought that that would be fun um, and, it, and, it, and it isn't it's crap <laughs> <laughs> fair enough yeah. we'll leave that no, I, I, <laughs> shit I, yeah uh, I started um, playing piano when I was uh, small, and <laughs> Harrison, are you okay? <laughs> and now I'm massive. <laughs> it's been a while. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you, can't, you can't argue with that, can you? You really fair can't. On. No. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is, is, is somehow I was better, like, before, like... Before you, know, you got massive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's what, or maybe it's because, you're like, with, with my being smaller... <laughs> children, children tend to be smaller than the respective adult versions of themselves. Um, when, when I was smaller, maybe the, the talent that I, I did have was just more concentrated in my smaller form. Whereas now, now I'm, it's more diluted. A, a bit like an orange squash, it's more diluted now, you know. <laughs> Basically, the moral of the story is I'm Roy Pina. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we got to a conclusion on that one, finally. Because I've no idea right, what just is, happened. This is normal. <laughs> so, <laughs> normal so, 20 years ago, Harrison was just a Harrison concentrate. That's all it was. Yeah. Okay. He's like those, um, like, do you remember the, those little Robinson's concentrated things that you get and you squirt them in your water? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's basically Harrison. That's Harrison now. Okay. Yeah. That is over diluted. Not Thank anything you. near the question that I asked, but it's fine. Like, that's, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, 
<laughs> what, what was the question again? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fine. Your orange how, juice. How did you get into writing, Harrison? What made you uh, change? I went like school. <laughs> <laughs> they, they taught me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, I got into writing because. Um, I, I don't know, yeah, it was, I don't know, I'm, I'm, uh, it was either that or be a doctor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Harrison as a doctor? Dear God, no. Yeah. I uh, weirdly no could, but just giving, like, completely inaccurate advice all the time. He just, yeah. tell, he just tell every single person he's got a cream for it, no matter what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just got cut every off. single got person for it? No, we've got cream for that. Don't worry about it. Six weeks, you'll be fine. Uh, we prefer to use the medical term ointment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we nearly was a doctor. Jesus Christ. No. We weren't lying. No. <laughs> Putting out the big guns for that one. So, my next question was, obviously, at some point, you all found each other and formed Novena, and I was going to say, how did that happen? But I think I'm going to say, why did that happen? <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, you know, it really was that like, bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, like this. This ended up being solace and shelter for all of us. Like Bim was just that bad. <laughs> yeah, basically, there's nothing. If this, if this was the best thing that come out of Bim, you gotta realise how bad Bim was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but oh, basically, we we were all at Bim and. Like, Moat and Harrison had been friends <clears throat> for years, had been in Bleeding Oath and all that, all that stuff. Um, and then they were wanting to form this new band, Novena. They found uh, me because I did a, a, like a, a college performance, like a university performance at BIM, playing Sound of Muzak. Um, and they found me playing it and they were like, well... <clears throat> he's not the oh, he's not completely shit. Like he's bad, but you, no, you he's were, not completely shit. I was, but not like tremendously so. So, um, they asked me to have a rehearsal with them, and I was so unhappy at BIM that I only learnt the song. I think it was the morning of the rehearsal. <laughs> it wasn't even that. It wasn't even the morning of the rehearsal. I remember the conversation that we had on the day where you apologised to me and went. Sorry, I didn't get it. And I was like, don't worry about it. That 5868 bit's a bit of a bitch. He was like, well, yeah, but it's because I've had to learn 40 Iron Maiden songs this week. So I listened to this on the, like this morning on the bus ride here and only one earphone was working. And I went, uh, and, you got six, and you got six minutes into loss of in a memory based off a bus journey on one earphone. Yeah. Like, All right, fine. Yeah, fine. That was basically, you know. basically that. And then I don't know how they found you, Dan. Were you in the same class as one of them? Or? Uh, it was a very similar story. Um, it was the Harrison put up a post about uh, an end of term thing uh, doing a Devin Townsend song I can't remember what that Devin Townsend song was Kingdom Kingdom yeah that never really came to anything um, I, went, I went round Harrison's old flat um, in Hove the one with the, is that the one that the, the one ceiling with, fell down yeah in? the one with the ceiling yeah yeah, yeah. 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 where who, where was it Will lives that was the one I even wanted uh, yeah, we, we was away that weekend, wasn't he? And all the ceiling yeah. fell down and completely destroyed his room, yeah. broke his bed. And if he'd have been in there, he definitely would have died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember, I think, really bad. Like the, the, the day after you showed me a video of either you, well, I think it was you, going into Will's room trying to hoover him up. Yeah, with the little Henry hoover that you had, it didn't really work. <laughs> trying to hoover up ceiling debris. Like, yeah, go on then, they just have to do it, <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, there was, uh... I used to always, like, take my Hoover in there and just, like, put his socks in it. (laughs) I'd just, like, start hoovering his sock drawer. And then he'd start complaining, like, where are all my socks? (laughs) I was like, Henry was hungry. (laughs) (laughs) That was it. Yeah, I remember. Henry was hungry. I have never lived together. Jesus Christ. (laughs) But no, yeah, um, we went around there and we sort of rehearsed, I say rehearsed, just went over the parts for that, and then he sent me through the full uh, guitar pro for Jagged Regenesis, and then I learned that, and that, or I learned, I think, the first half or something of that, and then 
got in a room with Cam and Mo, and then yeah, about that. It's you guys do it. learn. You learn a fair amount of it because me and you ended up playing through most of Bleed. Uh, I think it, it, I think it was up to like it might have been up to the third track. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. it was it was pretty far. It was a good amount. Remember, of- because yeah. <clears throat> I remember you yeah, playing through a lot of bleed and I uh, breathe, and I was just standing there, just like, why does he know this? Because <laughs> mm, yeah, <no. laughs> like, I, I, you you were playing like you know the the new mid like the more like because I learned Lost Within a Memory and that was it, and then you were saying like, oh here's the other stuff that I've been learning, and I was like, oh no, I've already been sent one song like. Am I am I missing something here? Like, should I have learnt the other one? I'm really worried about. Like, I don't know if I should have learnt that one. I don't know, but thankfully yeah. not. I no, still haven't learned that one. You mean listen to it on the bus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That as well. Same With thing. One listening, thing. learning. Cameron yeah. has maintained that attitude towards our music to this day. Indefinitely, and will continue to do so. Was it recording? Recording eleventh hour. I turned up. Uh, with no, not it was it was the rehearsal before recording Eleventh Hour. I turned up with charts, like cause yeah. I'd like just written out all the songs. And then when Harrison was like, "Right, we're gonna play this song," I was like, "What one's that one again?" <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I genuinely didn't know any of the songs because I I just literally just written them down to sight read, and that was it. Had, hadn't you like just gotten back from a cruise ship or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's one that like you didn't have time to. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a bit of a feasible excuse at least for it. Yeah, I just yeah. hadn't had the time to look through it, but I'd had the time to kind of get down and write them out, but not like integrate them into yeah. myself. Into um, yourself. Do you mean learning? <laughs> is that the word you were looking <laughs> for? Term for? Integrating things into yourself is learning. Yeah. Or something that is just bad. Let's move on. Yeah, I was going to say, or like wearing a butt plug. Please, t- no. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> fine. I've Good got on, um, half an hour into this and forgotten that I have this entirely separate screen. Whether it works or not is a different matter. So bear with me a second. Yeah, that's we fine. We are Novena. We're bad. You can keep being bad for a second while I do this. So <laughs> penetrate me music. I've given up telling Soph I'm going to ban them anyway. <laughs> Why are you no doing point. this step song? It's, it's all Soph wants is just the banning, so I won't worry about it too much, honestly. And they just love the oh, ban hammer. No. <laughs> oh, Not God. this. This. Not this shit. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, or if you can't, uh, but you won't be able to hear it in here, but they might in chat. I don't know. I can't. Oh, can't no. no. Okay, fine. It's probably best that we can't hear it anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that's Dan. Garbage. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> absolute garbage. Did we, never, did we never count the amount of zips that Ross has? No. What do you mean? Yeah. He's just got so many on him. It's unbelievable. I can oh, see yeah. four just there. Yeah, there's at least four. At I, least. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we ever spent any part of the day discussing, drawing any attention to that or wow. anything. Like, I literally think the entire time that just fucking went and just <laughs> no one no one said a word. No one said a single thing about just wow. the amount of zips of that man. Yeah, <laughs> no. Like, yeah. just... And looking back on it now, I'm just thinking, like, really? We, we never had a conversation about that? <laughs> of all the things that we did with that day, we never went, how many? Yeah. How many zips was that? I still remember and, and, when, when Ross three hit that. Knuckles. He's maybe, just... maybe it's a form of currency with the country. What, in Bournemouth? <laughs> <laughs> zips. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Oh no, play. <laughs> I pay for this with seven zips. Ah, like, oh, mate, I'll give you some change for that. You don't need that many zips, you're fine. <laughs> give you a button. Oh, no, I, no, I, I got completely it. derailed when Harrison started talking about butt plugs, and I've got no idea where I was going with any of this. I um, <laughs> I still remember when we recorded that video because Ross, like, never mimed uh, for the music video. He always sang out. And I always remember him like hitting that high note at the beginning. 
and I was stood when he was just like Ross's solo shots, and I was stood quite away, like you know, towards the back of the room, like watching Ross doing his shots. And when he hit that high note, it sounded like the voice was coming from like behind me, and then and then I heard it like spiral around me, just because he projected it so well, it just went like it was. It was, it was a spooky room as well, though. It was, it was a bit of a weird room. I can't remember. I didn't even know he was singing because the monitor for the video was right next to my fucking head. <laughs> I was completely deaf in terms of incredibly loud. And somehow my, it still wasn't loud enough. It still wasn't loud enough. Uh, I'm my, sorry, because that, we had the laptop on the left and then the the speaker in, 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 in front of it and you sort of pressed the space bar and then that fucking click came out like, because of, for those that for those that don't know how how music videos are done, just just letting people know. For those who don't know that how music videos are done, the way that you do it is that obviously you you we all mime, so so you know kind of mime as much as we can. Like I still got to hit the drums, and you know Ross still sings out, and you still play the guitars, but they're not like plugged in. Like nothing's plugged in, and you can't hear anything. And we basically mime along to the actual song, so. Um, we play the song out, you know, out loud through speakers and then just play along to the song. And we all take it in turns having video shot of us. So we kind of, you know, like that, like there's a video of me right there. And then that, that was just, just me sat there in a camera going around me. Then you'd have a solo shot of Harrison and a solo shot of Ross. And you, you end up listening to the song how many times? Two many know, times. Like, like, Forty well, times in a day. Um, yeah, I mean the 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 filth the filth video shoot was like fifty eight. I think it was fifty eight because Theo well, was in every yeah. shot. It was yeah, yeah it's fifty four or, or fifty eight, and that was yeah yeah because yeah, you do your solo shots and then you do um so in solo shots of individuals and then you do your like band shots so you have full band. But then and even even what, this like these shots here where she's walking up and dropping dropping the pendant in his hand like that still had music on because that was queued up for it like yeah ooh. it's a tiny so, with you know, the music yeah so you know like you're still standing there just like fucking hell just, honestly so many zips um <laughs> yeah, yeah so so, um, <laughs> so you end up listening to that song loads of times and, and one of the um and, and one of the issues that we had is that harrison i remember harrison being like oh we want? can um uh oh god johan so harrison was like oh yeah what we can do is we can um I'll bring my speakers along and they'll be absolutely fine. But um, when uh, Harrison brought them along, uh, they weren't loud enough for my drums. Mm. So what I ended up having to do was um, when the when the band shots were happening, I did have to play a bit quieter. That's why you can see in the disconnected video at times when it's the band shots, you can see me kind of tickling the drums. And then when it's my own shots, I'm like... Ah! <laughs> I've actually got a video of Dan being doing the solo shots. Yeah, I've got a, a, a couple on mine. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a video. My, of that. my favorite moment in the entirety of the disconnected video is when it just gets to the the turnaround before we go back into like the intro or the quiet verse, <clears throat> like coming out of the solo, and just seeing that moment where Dan holds that one note, and in his mind you can see him go, "Thank God!" and then. <laughs> He has to start back up again, just doing that <laughs> marathon of just constantly picking. But it's just great. You can see that moment. You can see his entire body relax just for like three seconds, if that, before he's suddenly just back into like, and back again. And that's it for the rest of the song. I love that moment because it's just, it's just funny every single time. Seeing that, that moment of his relaxation before he goes back into all that, and then it snaps to Harrison, who's just playing one chord. And just strumming it with the biggest grin on his face. It's just brilliant. And that's what we were doing in rehearsals. In rehearsals, like Dan, Dan's going, just like, like constantly. And Harrison's playing one chord, and Harrison will walk over to Dan and be like, and you'd be like, oh, strenuous work, mate. Strenuous work. Breaking a sweat, your wrists ache a lot. And Dan's just looking at him like he wants to punch him. And I'm, no, one day he will. It's not about how tricky the part is, it's about. How how much passion you put into it, you know? And, <laughs> and I um, I've got and how a, much passion do you put into that E flat? It's um, you know, six <laughs> out of Fair. seven. Fair. So no, no, like percent. <laughs> so this 
And so this music video, which is of the Tyrant Live, this is the one where I filmed it all in 240p by accident or something <laughs> stupid or something <laughs> stupid like that. I filmed it in like yeah. 240, uh, uh, sorry, at 200, like 240p at like 18 frames a second or something. I screwed up my, my video. It's, 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 so, it's so good, like seeing how how well everyone else has done. And I'm saying how well I did, even comparatively, even if I'm in my pyjamas. And then seeing Cam's footage, you'd be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I would have seen it. Yeah, yeah. Seeing Cam's footage, you'd be like, did he record himself on a fucking security camera? <laughs> <laughs> What has he done? <laughs> he just got someone to like paint each frame, but like, yeah. you know, Honestly, he's not, he's not a good artist. He's bought one of those like nest doorbells and set it up in the room, and every 30 seconds he's got frames of ringing it. <laughs> 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 uh, well, so I sent it off to I sent it off to Kmac because Kmac was the one that edited this video. He sent it off to Kmac, and then when we got like the the pretty much final shot back, I said to Harrison, I was like. What the did K Mac do to my video? What the hell is going on? And Harrison was like, "It's K Mac. I'm sure he knows what he's doing." And I was like, "Now nah, I'm going to check my video." And I checked it, and it was yeah, just net security <laughs> camera footage. And I was like, oh, "Sorry, K Mac. <laughs> Sorry, mate." I love how, how, how like in all our Discord meetings, that like, he's the only one with like literally lighting in the background, D- D- DSLR quality footage, <laughs> and then sends that. And then gets to that one moment where it matters and he shits it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute camera. Yeah, Absolute I'm, camera. I'm going to be right it. back a second. Um, if I don't come back in a few minutes, just assume I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Enjoy, <laughs> in, enjoy your vomit. Yeah. No, it's actually a wee wee. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your wee wee. wee. A wee wee. <laughs> BM1888 DJ. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> You are no longer my fellow DJ. No, my fellow DJ. <laughs> We've gone on a whole circle around anything that I wanted to talk about, but it's fine. Um, Sorry. I will Sorry gently guide you back on track, though. Um, oh, that yeah, clicker. Oi, oi. Yeah, where's my clicker? Yeah. Yeah. It's on order. It's not here yet. I'll get it sorted. Um, so we were talking about Secondary Genesis, which was uh, 2016. Oh, was it, right, was yeah. it 16? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, I'll ignore what you said. It wasn't crap. 2015 or 20... I don't know. We fucking wrote it like 2011. It was so some was years old. ago, either yeah. way. Um, what were you listening to at the time, and where did that come into the writing of that, or any specific influences that kind of lent oh, their hand? okay. Well, I, I, will, I will answer this, because oh, when this was written, the other two weren't even in the band. We didn't even know they existed. Oh, wait, um, it- yeah, so... Basically, like I said, that that was written um, when we were still bleeding out. Um, we weren't Nevena at that point. Nevena wasn't even close to being a thing. Like bleeding out, basically, we got to the point where we was like, you know, we released this this EP. Um, that's fine, but we kind of want to grow up a little bit and maybe stop being such a fucking meme. <laughs> maybe, which didn't maybe. work. But mm-hmm. um, you know, we 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 got secondary genesis done. Um, and Secondary Genesis also actually initially was going to have a fourth track. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, we, 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 like Harrison and Robin penned pretty much all the Secondary Genesis. And then it wasn't, I mean, when, when, did, when was that? It must have been 2010, 2011, something like that, that we wrote Secondary Genesis. It was pretty much finished. Um, and done. The only thing that hadn't really happened was vocals because we didn't really have anyone for vocals. And even even then, when when uh, Dan and Cam joined, we were then still auditioning people trying to find a bloody vocalist. And there were a couple of times where we had someone, and then they just eventually just kind of went, nah. So that just fell apart. So it took us forever to release it because we were in the conundrum of, do we want to put it out with no singer and then try and find one, or do we just get someone to sing it and then put it out? But at the time, we were still listening to like all of the general things that we would have been, you know, like Robin would have been listening to whatever like classical music he was doing because he was starting writing that time, like starting writing classical at that time. And I know he was having a whole thing with like the fucking um, like whole tone, 12, 12 tone shit going on. And he was had a big thing for Stravinsky and all that kind of bollocks. And Harrison was listening to the Eagles because 
you know, just Harrison. And, you know, like, we had, like, Dream Theater and Opeth and that kind of stuff. And I don't even know what I was doing. I was just... I was in BIM, so I was being forced to listen to basically Maroon 5, um, <laughs> like, the entire time because I had to play that week in, week out. And then, you know, like, in between that, <clears throat> you know, we're like, we still... We still had all that kind of things, you know, where, 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 we, where we would listen to, you know, stuff that comes from the record, like Opeth and Haken, and you can hear, like, little bits, of, like, video game music kind of influence coming into things, you know, like, I still maintain that chant and loss of inner memory is more Skyrim than almost anything in Skyrim. <laughs> um, you know, like, it's just, there's, there's, there was always a lot of that, but yeah, it, 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 it was such a weird release and such a weird way that the whole thing went in terms of that record being written and then being sat on and then being put out that um it's really hard to kind of be accurate about it you know um it was just really really strange it was an odd time um but yeah it was it yeah it was it was, it was fine i mean I, I don't know even thinking back to like 2259 was meant to be on there um yeah. and then we ended up holding it back for the album for I don't even know what reason. I don't even know if like you were involved in that decision or not, Cam and Dan. Like if you had any. I remember being sent a tab for it at the same time as Second of Genesis. So yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember starting to learn it and thinking, fuck, this is hard. <laughs> yeah, and really not really bothering after a while. <laughs> yeah. It was like. Yeah. It laid to waste most, most parts of Second of Genesis as far as its like complexity. Yeah. It, it, it is it is an actual different beast from the rest of that EP. Yeah. Even though we wrote it at the same time, it is so much, such a more complex and just weird bit of music. Yeah. Um, I think I think that's kind of from what I remember. The <clears throat> we had, well, I say you you had uh, secondary Genesis written, and then you were like, we also had this song, but we we we're unsure whether or not to put it in. With secondary yeah, we genesis, we weren't really that, sure if it fit. Um, but yeah, because uh, like, because I think that was my initial thing of listening to it. I was like, because I don't think I was involved in any of those com- com- conversations, but it just, I didn't know where it would go if it were to be on there. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them things where it's like you couldn't put it in between any of them. You couldn't put it at the start. You couldn't put it after. Yeah, so I was just like, 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 like just, just an extra one. No, I'm just saying that, like. Well, Sherry, do you want to do you want to ask Harrison the question and then forego the seven minutes of me fucking rambling? <laughs> <laughs> Your seven minutes of rambling were helpful. Uh, I can't remember the exact question that I asked you. I think I asked you what you were listening to when you were writing Secondary Genesis and how, like, what kind of influences yeah. sort of played a part in that. Oh. Um... <sighs> What was I listening to? Well, I suppose when I was actually writing Secondary Genesis, I was probably listening to Secondary Genesis, you know. <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite hard I mean, to, yeah. to write something when you listen to something. I mean, I'm just being an odd. Um, I hadn't is, noticed. It's fine. To, totally out. Yeah, it must be a really <laughs> strong lemsip, mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what, 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 yeah, loads, loads, basically music, mainly. Um, but also... Sounds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking useless. <laughs> he's so <laughs> crap. He's so crap. He, he's, he's been good swear. for the odd shitty comment that we're talking over and the We Buy Any Car jingle. And that's it. That's all he's brought to the table. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fucking bring it to the table. Weapon. Absolutely. Um, okay, all right. I'm going to give you a, a, a straight answer now. I'm going to actually try to put some thoughts together. So, what was I listening to? Time Secondary Genesis. Um... Probably a lot of Meshuggah and Opeth, I think. They were probably two that were up there. Um, Haken as well, actually, I think. Yeah, I think, there yeah, was. You know, before we sort of it became closer friends, that was in that sort of era. I've always listened to a lot of, you know, like different pop music and stuff, and, like, and kind of like classic rock and things. So, like, the Eagles have always been a staple, and I get a lot of my kind of... Um, songwriting frameworks from them and that sort of thing um when would have that been probably stevie wonder as well a lot of the time at the time he's always been kind of a staple so yeah that's that oh uh, harrison we're also talking about because in secretary genesis obviously we had 2259 
Yeah. Written at the same time. What was our? I can't remember what, what was our decision in terms of not putting that with the UP. Like, was it just between you and Mo that decided that? Was that between all of us? Or was that like was um, it? A, I can't really remember what happened with that. I because we were playing either. it in bleeding no practices. We we were sitting playing it. Do you know what I mean? Like we had every intention of it kind of being part of the package. But I mean, at the same time, like it's on brand for us because there was meant to be a third song on the bleeding no PP that we ended up cutting. So, yeah. you know, yeah, like... It, I can't remember why the decision was made. Maybe it was just because, like, it, it was too long. Maybe it was a practical decision. Like, we we didn't, you know, we, we didn't think we could record that amount of music in the time that we had. Maybe it was Yeah, that could have been it. Yeah, because yeah, you only recorded... Like, only had three days to do Secondary Genesis, so... Yeah. yeah. And we yeah, got all that. Because I did all the drums in a day, didn't I? I think, or half a day. And then we had to load out while you were doing your bass bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was. Oh, anyhow, Moat, you've got a one-take-the-old thing. Huh? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was basically <laughs> like, Moat, you've got an hour. Go. <laughs> yeah. Whilst we're loading out behind you. We were I, gen- I, I, I genuinely, don't, I genuinely don't think I had more than three hours for that EP. No, you didn't. No. You definitely didn't. Because mm. I remember it. You, you almost had to record it in real time. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, like, was it, it, it was a panic to get the last of the guitars done. Like, yeah. let alone to even start. I don't, I don't even think we got like a tone or anything, like a bass tone. It was just sort no, of like, no, it was just like, can you hear it? Oh, Good, like, play, play, yeah. go. Yeah, right. Right. Get, it up, get it going, let's see what happens. Yeah. That's why it was really nice going into 11th hour, obviously having that studio, because we basically, we, we recorded it in a studio in South London, and it was just, and we had, what, was it five days? Uh, no, it was, it was longer than that. I think, I think we, it was a full week. In a full week, I can't really remember. But it was, I just, it actually, Cam, you might be right. I think it, it was five days. I yeah, I, I actually, no, I think it was five days. And then we said that we like we just made sure that we when when we went to wins to do all the overdubs and ev- ev- everything else that we needed, we were much more structured about it because we was <laughs> like we don't want another secondary genesis, do we, boys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking yeah. of recording things and making music. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us anything about what you are doing next? At all? Um, I mean, yeah, I can tell you, but I'm gonna make it all up. I'm gonna <laughs> lie to you. <laughs> you can make it all up. That's fine. So, so we're we're currently working on a mariachi record, um, and the, we, we've got um, we've got Princess Camilla as as a guest on it. Um, we're writing all of the music only in the key of Z flat major, and um, Moat's wearing a tank top throughout. <laughs> the worst thing is, all of this is absolutely believable. <laughs> I, I say, could buy where's, it. Where's, where's the lie in this? Yeah, I don't see any lie. I mean, the tank top's what brings the tone. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. A tone is stored in the balls. <laughs> 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 Oh, sorry. Uh, y- y- yeah, we're we're working on stuff. Um, um, I can't say any more than that, I'm afraid. But we we are working on stuff, and um, we're very excited to to you know see each other and sort of rehearse it again. You know, so, I'm excited to see what Camilla brings as well. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, she she a great promise coming in. And for a fucking fee, you, you'd like to think she's gonna actually turn up. Yeah, you'd like to think she's gonna deliver th- th- all the pay for that. Like, fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, I the only, only band on Frontier Record Label that's a she band. <laughs> <laughs> I but, will. Uh, Sorry, we, we carry are, on. You know, we're, we're actively doing stuff at the moment, and you know, we yeah. we um we're looking forward to, to seeing what comes of it. It's been an exciting time because the writing is all always like a. You know my favourite part, to be honest. Like I love, I love rehearsals, I love gigging and, and whatnot. But the writing is my favourite period. So yeah, I'm definitely um, having fun at the moment. That is exciting. Um, mm-hmm. I will round it off with just asking you: out of things released recently, what would you recommend the most? Say, like the last year. What, what music like, wise? What just in yeah, general? Yeah. Or, or what do you I mean in general? Um, I mean music. COVID nineteen vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> that too. 
Well, but I did mean music, yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely check that out. Um, I mean, my <clears throat> the the albums that I'm listening to at the most, well, things that are released in the last year, I'm, I've not listened to new music <laughs> quite a long time. Because you haven't had a radio cam, that's all right. No, I've been going back to like Steely Dan and stuff like that, which is just, oh, they're so good. But in terms of an album that's been released, uh, Rina Samayama's album, Sabayama is just, I thought that was the album of 2020 for me. And uh, it's still an album that I listen to very regularly because um, I think it's almost perfect. It's like a, a pop-ish album. It's great. I know Dan likes it. Cause, uh, the the new version of Chosen Family with Elton John is that's really just, good. Yeah, those harmonies, oof, it's incredible. Really, really good. Oof. Um, yeah, really oh, good. I um, what have I been listening to? Mainly just a lot of jazz. Like I don't know about new releases so much. Um, that's Dan's favourite thing, jazz. <laughs> yeah, he loves jazz. <laughs> Um, he, yeah, I've just been doing a lot of playlisting at the moment, like on, on, uh, fucking Spotify and whatnot, and I've been discovering some really cool stuff, that's been good fun, um, that new Billie Eilish song that came out the other day was really so good. good. Oh, it is so know. good. Yeah, I really like I've that. I have heard that yet. Really yeah. good. But it's more kind of like acoustic, in fact, it was interesting, because the, the instrumental behind it kind of sounds like it could be like a porcupine tree song or something. Oh, right. Like, mm. one of their, like, ballads, one of their kind of, like, acoustic guitar ballads. Um, and then it's just got, like, Billy's voice over it. It's great. Really mm. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of her. Big fan of Billy. Um, yeah, but that's, that's it. I'm, I'm not, like, been kind of picking out albums or anything at the moment. Um, yeah. I listened to Emily King's album the other day. That's really good. I know it's not new, but it's new-ish, I guess. I don't think I've heard that. Yeah, really good. Good. Really, really cool Who stuff. didn't answer me? Mo? Mo and Dan. Yeah. Um. um I mean, uh, like, I don't know. I've, I've kind of been all over the shop with everything that I've been kind of listening to recently. But, I mean, things I'm excited for that I can say definite is, like, when that new token record drops, new Hopson record is dropping hopefully soon. Like at least the singles that have been coming out have been absolutely killer, which has been big exciting. Um, that new To The Grave album is still one of the funniest things I've heard all year. <laughs> yeah, it's it ridiculous. Just, it's so funny. It's so funny. In, in um, what way? Like, why just the funny? riffs are so stupid. They're so stupid. They're like so heavy, heavy. heavy. Yeah, just like, there's just, like me and Dan have always had that rule of if it doesn't make us laugh, it doesn't, it doesn't go in the song, right? <laughs> okay. And every every single riff must have made them laugh when they were writing it because that's how stupid that record is. Yeah, it's I get fantastic. that. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's been like the main thing that I've been spinning spinning a fair fair bit. Um, but obviously, like a lot of music kind of gets thrown away, so it's hard to to really know like what I'm keeping up with and what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? But there's there's not really been anything that's come out so far for for a while that I've been like, oh, that's probably gonna suck or whatever I'm, or I'm not gonna be into that you know just there's a lot of there's a lot of good music coming out like just across the uh, across the sphere at the moment it's a uh, it's a really strong year so far which is nice it's um if it, it's felt like the last couple of years almost in a weird way have been a bit of um a bit of a lull but i don't think it's been that i think it's just been me being an absolute waste man <laughs> but it, but even so like you know, there's there's been not been much that's excited me to the point where I feel like I want to go out and find new music. You know, whereas at the moment I'm like, yeah, give me everything. That new Cannibal Corpse record as well is an absolute ripper. It's very good. It's so good. It's an absolute ripper. You know, like there's just it seems like no matter what kind of where you put your foot forward, whether it's like hip hop stuff, whether it's pop stuff, whether it's fucking death metal stuff or deathcore stuff, like. People are putting their strongest foots forward constantly, and it's just, it's really exciting. It's really, really exciting. Oh, even fucking, like, <laughs> New Transatlantic and Liquid Tension and all that kind of stuff as well, like, it's just been unreal. That, that new Liquid Tension experiment record is dumb good. I still haven't got, got through any of that. So good. 
it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, sugar. Oh. yeah I mean, it's Tony Levin in it, so it's gonna, it's gonna stick in the pickle, but like, it's, oh. it's a phenomenal record anyway. Yeah. Also, talk about releases in 2020. Go and check out Haken's new album as well. For those that haven't, <laughs> go and check out Haken's new album. Listen to Nevena. No, don't do that either, actually. Yeah. No, <laughs> Definitely don't do that. No, I don't do that. There's a link in the chat if anybody does uh, feel the need to so go and listen to Nevena. Yeah. We, we appreciate <laughs> it very much. We promise we, promise we cuddle afterwards. Except Dan doesn't, that Dan doesn't like being touched. But aside from that, like, <laughs> <we're>, yeah. <laughs> aside from that. Amazing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're very cuddly. Harrison might not be in a cuddle mood at the moment, actually. I don't know. Harrison, would you mm, like a cuddle? Don't, don't even look at me. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So, two, two, Cam, what about you? Are you up for a cuddle? Yeah. Go on, then. Why not? Uh, yeah, fine. Someone, yeah, do you know what I mean? Someone's like, sure. fuck it, I'll do it. If, if people ask, then fine. But I'm not going to go out my way for it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we Bye. go. We won't cuddle you after. Apparently, everyone's an arsehole. So, uh, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy our music. It'll just be Moat. Mo- yeah, Moat just wants a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Moat just wants a hug. Perfect. That's going to be Tech Fest 2022, isn't it? We're gonna have a, no, that's, be a... that's still the Moat Low Skiffle project. That's going to be the debut that they're not ready for. Mm. Moat Low Skiffle project. There's actually a yeah. Facebook group for that. Um, Got an extra year to prepare now. <laughs> if everyone goes on Facebook and looks up Moat Low Skiffle project, there is an actual group that you can go Can you cut in. all the music instead? Uh, yes. You can yes. cuddle whatever you want, Dark and I. You can. And no one can tell you otherwise. I mean, they can, but, you know, don't let oh, them. I want to see a moat bundle for TechFest 2022. Absolutely not. Someone will get slapped. I don't, I don't want people I don't want people bundling on me, bundling <laughs> near me, any of that. Near I will me. get absolute weird, torrid flashbacks from when I was in Beavers and it happened to me. And that, that, that time led to me running away, tripping over a shoelace and going through a church window. So I really would rather <laughs> genuinely not deal with that. story? <laughs> Did that really happen? And we yes, got this story. <laughs> I've known you for the best part of a decade and I've not heard that. Me neither. Go on, you've, you've got a, out. you've got an hour. I was going to go, but we've got to hear this story properly. And I've not heard this story. Well, like, so I, I was, I was at Beavers, and you know, like, it, I was, I probably was like about nine, something like that. The only reason that I, I ended up going to that was because there was a football team, and my dad ended up being manager, and he was like, "Look, I need someone to, to play in goal. You're fat enough, so let's do it." And I was like, "Oh, right, yeah, fair enough." Like, so that, that was it. So we went. We went, we went there and it was in the community center of the, of the church that's near where Harrison used to live and near where I used to live. Um, and that used to also be like the nursery that I went to. So I was very familiar with the place, had all the blueprints, knew what I was doing. And we were there and we got to the end of, of, of the day and what we used to, we used to sometimes play like just random games and stuff. And I can't remember what we were playing, but we were playing one game. Um, and it ended up with there being like people just getting fucking bundled. And I was standing there like, I'm not backing it. Like, you know, we're, we're, we're in a place of God. There's a hard floor and I'm, and I'm a fat, podgy nine-year-old. I'm not really wanting to have a lot of people jumping on me at this moment in time. I'm not backing it. So at this point, they've turned around and gone, him. And I'm like, no. So I have started running away. And little did I know that at that moment, as I've run round the room to where there's like a couple of stacks of chairs to try and hide away and there's like a radiator and a window still with a big fucking window. At that point, I've gone to like run round to get away and then as I've done that I've then fallen over like tripped on my shoelaces I'm going and ended up falling forward and then because of just like the height of the, the thing I've kind of put my hands to like stop myself from going out the window but didn't and I went through it like I put my hands on the seal and I ended up basically I had so much force that me putting my hands on it like propelled my body forward and I just went straight through the window head first oh no head first straight through the window yeah, explains boring. a lot <laughs> and, like, and, every sing- and, ev- and every single person every single person stopped in absolute horror yeah. and all they saw was me then get up and went well that happened and that was it <laughs> that was it amazing <laughs> oh dear uh, a special individual uh, I don't know so, I, not, I, not, not, yeah. I mean, it's not a story I bust out often, but yeah. Well, no. no. Really? No, this is, I never knew about this. This yeah. is a new one for me. 
I've got sneaky ones kept away for the right time. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the right time for that one. I mean, yeah, it's, more it's more appropriate than most other moments that I've been in for a while. So, you know, we'll run, we'll run with it. Okay, fair. Fair. Um, but, yeah. On that note, <laughs> we've taken a enough of your time. A <laughs> <laughs> You've I'll chatted enough shit. Who else has vandalised the house of God? <laughs> <laughs> who, else, who else was definitely damned before they were ten? Like, who else? Yeah. Anyone? No. The band, the band name is Novena. Yeah. That's yeah. Exactly why. Yeah. I'm not, not going to lie, it ain't great across the board, but we're here. It's yeah. happened. Um, and it will continue to happen. Probably. Yeah, for the foreseeable I'm future. I'm not going to keep throwing myself through church windows. It's kind of been a one and done scenario. But um, I want to throw you through a church that's... window or any window for that matter. Well, yeah, I know you do. So we'll, get to that. we'll we'll get to that. shoot through a window. <laughs> it's so funny. It would be not so funny. Not yet, Dan. It's not the t- so soon. It's not the time yet. Man, At some point, you've no idea how funny that would be. I, I have every idea about double funny, glazed as well. Like not 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 your shitty little single glaze sort of thing. Like not like yeah, room, but yeah, not not, not like I'm early two thousand. I'm I'm talking like fucking thick as sole your shoe, kind of. I want to fucking break you through a window. <laughs> I, you need to bounce off it about at least no. three times before it breaks. Yeah, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm going to end the stream. Yeah. If you want to continue okay. talking about throwing each other three windows, feel free. But say bye to chat. I've um, got to say one last thing before we go. Oh, okay, yeah. go on then. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hungover voice from the void. That was outstanding. You're welcome. Thank you. Can you read chat, by the way, Harrison? Yeah, why? I was just wondering if you'd seen what Soap's now calling me. Soap will fuck off. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Soap, you're fucking... You're barred from ever me and Mo. <laughs> from, from any Nevena gig ever. Yeah, you, you've just become the first person in the world to to not be allowed... Uh, not be allowed. <laughs> you, you, you've become Nevena's worst enemy. <laughs> That's pretty damning, that, isn't it? To be yeah, a little bit. Yeah, to be barred from us. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty that's, that's sick in that. It's awful. It's truly awful. <laughs> it's something special. Well, yeah, uh, it's been lovely to be here, Sherry. Thank you for Yeah, support. thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thanks for Sherry for having us. That's it's okay. All lovely. Being basically unconscious for most of it. That's fine. I just hope you survive the night. Um, I've put some Novena links you in are chat. The only one. <laughs> Please follow them if you do feel so inclined to do so. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry, for, for um, hosting this. Yeah, thanks, That's Sherry. Fine. It's been lovely. And, uh, yeah, it's been lovely to see all the um, the, the familiar names in chat as well. Um, we we hope you've all had fun. Okay. And on the plus side, all future Sunday services can only go better. So there's that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I mean, that is, Perfect that is the way. pilot. If you, est- if, if you establish a flaw, and fucking hell you have... Um, <laughs> Then yeah, that's the, the only way is up, right? Yeah, Surely, exactly. Unless you, unless you want a bigger floor, in which case I, you do you, you know. But <laughs> and on that note, I'll have a. Floor, <laughs> you need a bigger carpet. What? <laughs> right, I really am going now. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for coming. <laughs> oh my good lord, what is wrong with them all? <laughs>